Today's video, we are at KFC to try their new Jack Harlow meal. So Jack Harlow did a collab with KFC and he has all of his favorites in this meal. There's nothing new about the meal, but apparently it has like special packaging, which I'm pretty excited about because I love Jack Harlow. I think he is a little cutie pie and I love his music and I've not done a KFC video in a while. So I am kind of craving their food right now. Like it sounds really good. So in his meal, he has a spicy chicken sandwich which I've had before and it's very delicious we got some KFC mac and cheese the secret recipe fries and then a lemonade I am super glad he chose a lemonade because I feel like a lot of these celebs do either a coke or a sprite which I'm pretty sure you can change it out for like whatever you want but I love me a good lemonade so let's go ahead and hop in line turn my car on I have no clue if we are going to get the Jack Harlow packaging because I am in a very 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 small town pretty much all the towns that are near my job are very small towns so I don't know I'm hoping they have the packaging because it looks really cool it has Jack Harlow's face on it and yeah let me know if you guys are Jack Harlow fans in the comments I feel like there's probably not that many. I don't know. Jack Harlow is kind of a, I don't know. I feel like he just recently got really popular. He's been on a lot, like he's been featured on a lot of songs before, but now he's starting to like come into his own, you know? Welcome back. Would you like to try a three piece chicken combo? Uh, no, that's okay. I was actually wondering if I could get the Jack Harlow meal. All right. What's your drink with? I'll do the lemonade. Okay. Anything else? I think that's going to be it. All right. Pull around. Okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys. So Gabe was playing my videos yesterday. He was watching them and he was playing them out loud, like on his phone and he was playing them super loud so I could hear it, but I couldn't actually see myself. I could just hear myself, which first off I hate because I just don't like listening to my voice back. If that makes sense. I'm, I feel like a lot of people are like that. Like you don't like hearing the sound of your voice. That's how I am. The only time I will listen to myself is when I'm editing and that's different because it's more like work because you're actually like, you're having to focus really hard on editing so you don't necessarily listen to exactly how your voice sounds. But once the video is up, and it's there for the world to see. I don't want to listen to it. But anyways, the reason why I'm saying this is because when I was listening to myself, I was like, oh my gosh, I sound so Southern. Like I sound really country sometimes, not with everything, but especially when I'm ordering food, I sound so country, which obviously I live in North Carolina. So I know I'm going to have a little bit of a twang to my voice, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, I did not realize I sounded that Southern. Like, I didn't think I had a southern accent at all, which I don't think I do, but sometimes it comes out. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Right. Nine away today. Thank you. Thank you so much. You Thank you. Time. You too. All right, guys, we have secured our Jack Harlow meal. I think I'm gonna park literally right here because I feel like this lighting is not bad. It was supposed to be sunny today. Like it was supposed to be really sunny and nice and then all the clouds came out for some reason, which I think it's supposed to storm tomorrow. So I guess the clouds just came a little bit early because that was gonna be sunny all day, but it's not, no it isn't. Okay, should I get the table out? I feel like I should get the table out because this is kind of a lot of food. Okay, let me get the table out and get set up and then we're going to dive into Here's it. Here's our Jack Harlow meal and I'm going to just say they really disappointed us on the packaging. We did not get any Jack Harlow packaging. So we got the Colonel Sanders cup. This is supposed to have Jack Harlow's face on it. And then they didn't even give me one of those bags, like what the Chick-fil-A bags come in that keep the sandwich hot. They literally just wrapped it in this like tin foil kind of bag, but we have our secret recipe fries as well as the mac and cheese. So let me set this up. Okay, not the best setup ever, but I didn't feel like getting all my sneaker boxes out that I usually set my table up on. But the sandwich does look really good. Luckily, it's a spicy one, which I do enjoy. So, 
There's our spicy chicken sandwich. Let's go ahead and bite into this. Looks like it has chicken tenders on it as opposed to like a chicken breast, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Okay. Let me eat it like this so y'all can see. <laughs> The sandwich is really good. I am really disappointed that they didn't give us ranch. I definitely would have liked to dip the fries in the ranch, but That's our fries. And then we also got our mac and cheese. For the record, they did not give me a fork for the mac and cheese, but luckily I have my own. I actually don't think I've ever tried, oh wait, hold on, let me take a sip of the lemonade. Does KFC use fresh lemonade or is it just like Minute Maid? It tastes like Minute Maid Lemonade. The sugar-free Minute Maid Lemonade. That's what it tastes like. Okay, but yeah, I've never tried their mac and cheese before, so I am excited to try their mac and cheese. Hmm, that was pretty good. It's soft, unlike Arby's. Arby's mac and cheese was so hard. It was actually really soft and good. So for this whole meal, we got a drink, two sides, the mac and cheese and the fries and the chicken sandwich, and we only paid $9. I feel like that's not bad, especially considering how expensive everything is getting. Like it's getting crazy out here. I think one chicken sandwich at Zaxby's is nine or ten dollars, which I think I'm gonna do my Zaxby's mukbang this weekend. A lot of y'all seemed really interested in a Zaxby's mukbang, which I'm very excited about because I haven't really had their chicken fingers and boneless wings like that which is what I'm planning on getting I have had their chicken sandwich which I actually did in a video I did a video where I compared KFC chicken sandwich to Zaxby's chicken sandwich so I'll pop that up on the screen if you want to go watch it it's kind of one of my older videos so definitely check that out but I've had their chicken sandwich and I've had I've had their chicken fingers maybe like once or twice. So I'm excited to do a Zaxby's mukbang because I feel like it's gonna be like I'm trying it for the first time. This chicken sandwich there from KFC is really hitting the spot right now. <laughs> I would really oh my gosh okay so my table is at a major angle right now it's making everything slide down to the bottom <laughs> I actually got a new table I found a white table from Ikea and it looked really nice it actually came in the mail yesterday but I forgot to bring it today 
but it is ginormous <laughs> like it is way bigger than this table it's also like a plasticky material I don't know if you guys have seen those um like the big white tables that are used for like events and stuff people set them up it's kind of like that material which is it was a little weird to me i thought it was gonna be more of like a white wood but it wasn't it's a really weird plasticky material so i know this is jack harlow's meal but you know who i really want to see a celebrity meal from post malone post malone's album came out june 3rd and guys it was so freaking amazing like that album went hard every single song i've been binge listening to it ever since it came out i am obsessed <laughs> like actually obsessed i think i have texas pete in my purse i'm gonna try and dig it out Ooh, okay, we got one Texas Pete sauce. I think this is enough to at least eat a little bit on my fries. Their fries are really, really good. Oh, it just went all over my sandwich. Texas Pete makes everything better, you guys. Like, wow. It really does. <laughs> Even though it's spilling all over my chicken sandwich, but that's okay. Texas Pete, mmm. At first I was like, why did Jack Harlow do a meal with KFC? I'm just so random. But turns out he's from Kentucky. Con or he's a Kentucky native. I don't know if he was born in Kentucky or if he was raised in Kentucky, but I said he is a Kentucky native. Which I guess is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna Work this in there. Their chicken sandwiches are just so bready. Like, look at this. I like a good breading, but it's almost too much when it's like this. Mmm. The Kid Leroy also has a celebrity meal, but apparently it only came out in Australia. Which is so weird because, well, okay. The Kid Leroy is from Australia, so I get it, why it was released in Australia, but a lot of his fans are in the US and other parts of the world. So I don't know why they didn't release it in more countries than just Australia because the Kid Leroy is a pretty, it's a pretty poppin' artist right now. I feel like they would have done really well with it I don't know if I said who it was with, but the Kid Leroy's meal is with McDonald's. It's a McDonald's Kid Leroy meal. Yeah, they only did it for the Australian locations. I would have totally bought it if they had done it in 
the US too. But honestly, like, since we didn't get the packaging, we got no Jack Harlow packaging, I feel like this meal is kind of pointless. I really want the Jack Harlow packaging though, so maybe they're gonna rope me in to going back to KFC and buying this meal again so I can get the packaging. You know, maybe that's part of their marketing. They only give the packaging to select locations, that way if you don't get it, you go driving around looking for the packaging. Honestly, a smart tactic because I'm sure it will work for some people like me. <laughs> Who just wants packaging. <laughs> Sorry, I went ahead and restarted my camera. We're, we were only at like 17 minutes on that clip, but every time my footage passes 20 minutes, I always have to import it into my laptop iMovie multiple times because if the clip is over 20 minutes and I import it, the whole screen is black. Like the audio is still there, but the screen is just blacked out. And then I have to import it, I have to delete it and then import it again and then it will work. And why always does it for clips over 20 minutes. Just kind of weird, but. chicken sandwich was a very delicious and then we're just finishing off a little Texas Pete prize <laughs> but yeah like I was saying even though these meals are a little bit like what is the point in them besides you're just spending money it's good marketing I would like to see a celebrity meal with Post Malone a little Uzi Vert, that would be fun. Luke Combs. I love Luke Combs, and they keep doing these collabs with rappers. We need to get a country artist. I vote Luke Combs. BTS is pop, right? I think BTS is considered pop because they're K-pop, so yeah, pop. <laughs> But besides BTS, they've, well, Mariah Carey had her, like, December thing. Mariah Carey is more of, like, a, I mean, Mariah Carey is still pretty poppy, pop star. So, they need to get a country artist and a rock artist. I love rock, you guys. Honestly, like, I am so versatile with my music. I listen to pretty much anything and everything. I listen to rock, pop, hip hop, rap, country. I've been really obsessed with oldies here though, lately. Like for uh, work, when I'm working, I will always play 70s, 80s, and 90s playlists. They have a lot of them on YouTube. There are so many four to five hour long playlists on YouTube that are just full of oldies hits, like hits back from those decades. They're really good and they're just so nostalgic and like brings me back to that time period and I love it. It also kind of reminds me of my parents because my parents always listen to oldies. They always have growing up. They always played oldies so it just brings me back to my childhood, you know. But, hmm. I think that's it for this Jack Harlow meal. Sorry I didn't have the Jack Harlow packaging, but it wasn't my fault. It was KFC's fault. And I want to get this video up as soon as possible because this meal just came out yesterday. And I wanted to film it yesterday, but filming on a Monday is just, I can't do it because I'm coming off the weekend. Usually I film over the weekend, so... It's a little hard to film on Mondays, but I have a shout out for today and today's shout out goes out to, today's shout out goes out to Aurora. I love your name, so gorgeous and you look so beautiful in your profile picture. Dang girl, work it. But I love you guys so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.